Hello, and welcome to Tetragon. This is a game that was actually just recently released, just like a day ago, I think, and kind of out of nowhere, I was just contacted by someone working for PR for the game, and they wanted to know if I wanted to play it, and I checked it out a little bit, and this looks really cool, so yeah, I said yes, and here we are. This is apparently a uh, Brazilian game, kind of a 2D rotational gravity-based puzzle platformer and that what really caught my attention was just the art style it looks very interesting kind of a mix between like pixel art and uh paper craft sort of thing is what i get from it and yeah it just looks neat so let's check it out let's see if it's actually neat hello tjm you haven't seen super positive impressions of tetragon i haven't seen any impressions honestly but it, it looks cool and yeah, we're gonna play some guacamole later as well. Yeah, it does look interesting. Uh, one thing I will say is the options menu leaves something to be desired. You can change the text language, which is good, and then you can change individual volume sliders, which is also good. It's nice to have more than one slider. And it's also nice, I always praise this, that they start at 50%, which is great. So then you can adjust it up or down. So nice touch there. But like, where's window mode and full screen? Where's the resolution setting? Where's anything? I feel like some kind of controller settings or keyboard remapping or something would also be nice. But oh well, it's it's a very simple game, I suppose. So yeah, let's just jump in and see what this is all about, because I really don't know anything about it other than the visuals, pretty much. I'm the quietest woodchopper in the lands. I see. I guess my son disappeared or something like that. And there we go. All right. And we have different acts with different levels in them. Looks like four acts or something. So, Lost Awakening in the Fruitful Forest. And there's like record times as well. I guess we'll see if I become a speedrunner or not. Look, QQQ. <laughs> this looks like a cheesy mobile app and I'm so down. It does kind of look a little mobile-esque. I'm sure it maybe was released on mobile as well. I don't know. And yeah, like the interface definitely screams mobile. Like this is made for a touchscreen. But I still, I, I like the visuals. Just the, uh, the design of things, like the environments, little squiggly things, and kind of half pixel art, half... What is this? Oh. I got it. One out of 13. Okay. Half orb things. Yeah, so far, pretty simple. You just kind of auto-climb all the ledges and stuff. I don't know if I had to collect that to get to the end, or if that's like a bonus thing. Yeah, it's kind of a stereotype that gets a bad rap. Just, uh, like things looking like mobile games. I mean, mobile games are looking better and better nowadays. So, you finally woke up. You don't remember anything, do you? Your name is Lucios. Stay calm. I will help you, help you find your way home. Yeah, I also like the style. I don't think it looks bad at all. Like, the style was what draw me, drew me to the game. We must find the secret garden. The secret passage to your world is hidden there. What? Why would I want to go to my world? I want to find my son, right? That's the whole point. I came in here willingly. Yeah, you can see some, like, parallax spinning background stuff. Oh. Right trigger and left trigger. Oh, I see. Yeah, so here we get the uh, rotational mechanics. So do I even want to rotate here, or do I want to rotate? What happens then? So if I drop down... Yeah, it said it was like a red uh, indicator that was saying, like, don't, don't do this, dummy, you'll die. So you can tell what kind of falls you can survive and so on. So we have to rotate this one. But then we can't, like, half rotate. Now I can't rotate again, yeah. So once you've rotated past it, you can only rotate something that's, like, on the same orientation as you are. Oh. 
Such a fall will definitely kill you. Shouldn't you have told me this before? Before I did the fall? Be careful. Look for the right places to step. Okay. So, we can't, like, rotate just half, halfway or something? No. You have to commit to it entirely. Which makes this holding down thing a little weird. Like, what's, what's even the point if you have to go for one or the other? Maybe just to make it a more fluid animation or something. Yeah, now we're down here without dying. And what was up there? Like, you could never get to those other ones? I wonder what the point was. And if, if I had rotated this other one, the second one, like the different orientation, it wouldn't have helped. I would have just died if I fell down. Yeah, it's not like there's any secret here, so kind of weird. It was released on mobile back in 2019, I see. So I guess they ported it to PC in the hopes that it would do better here. Yeah, we'll see. I can sense Tetragon's energy flowing from there. That object contains a fragment of Tetra Gen. The lantern? Yeah, maybe there's gonna be a mechanic that'll justify, like, half turning it or holding it or rotating, like, back and forth in the same rotation or something. The lamp! Select and move the magical towers to modify the world. Oh. Left and right bumper, move tower. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. So then, ah, and then you control it with the, the right stick. I wonder how this would work on not a controller. I just like imagine this would be better on a controller. So I just went for that. But I don't know if, if it would work at all well on a keyboard and mouse. So I can't go up more, even though it looks like I should be able to. Is that because I'm too close? It's gonna take me a little while to, like, get used to the controls. Yeah, I guess I was too close. You can't, like, be right next to something, and you can't raise or lower something that you're standing on. Like, right now, I can't use this one. Oh, I can! But I can't go up again. You can lower, but you can't raise it, so now I'm, like, screwed, basically. Well, I, I guess I can lower the, the one over here. Yeah. Oh. Stop. Yeah, getting out of this lamp is a little confusing. How do I stop? Sometimes I press B and it takes me out, and sometimes it does not. And then why does this one shine at this point? Now it does not. Okay. Well, let's just see, like, what we can do over here, I suppose. Oh. I see, that can go all the way there. So I guess we should look... Yeah, you can see, like, how far they can, uh, extend. Interesting. I like the, the visual, like, indicators and stuff so far. So if we put this one as far back as we can, this one can go all the way up here. But that still doesn't really help. We can do that. There we go. And now we just have to make a staircase here. Oh, that's weird. That one can't be, like... It has to be on a half-step. Something like that might be fine. You love the hypnotizing... Oh, God! Okay, that, that might have been a bit of a bug. The hypnotizing backgrounds? Yeah, they're kind of nice. And we just spiral in to the next level. And you can see how many levels we completed. We're on five out of whatever that was. Twelve or something. Oh. What's that? Can I talk? Can I look? What does the dot 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 mean? I don't know. No button is doing anything. And again, I'm, I'm stuck in the lantern right now. How do I get out of the lantern? Stop doing this. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Help! Did it? There we go. That was... Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, now it doesn't say anything. Over here it was saying dot 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 as if I can, like, read or look at something. 
but no button is doing anything with that. Strange. You assume he'll say something if you tap on him? For the touch screen you totally have? Maybe. Oh, yeah, I can click on him. Okay, that's a weird thing. I mean, it did say partial controller support, but that's very strange because, like, the controller seems to work way better for the controls of the game, but then I guess you have some stuff like that. I wonder if I missed some, some stuff I could look at before. What am I doing here? This is not my home. Did you already? I guess, yeah, he did forget everything about his son and all that. The whole reason we went in. So, like, what happens if I... Ah, oh, okay, maybe mouse and keyboard is the way to go. And then, like, W, A's and D to move? Maybe I should just switch over to that. That seems way better. And then here, what do we do? Like, scroll? Right click? No? We just, oh, we just click and drag this one. Okay. Yeah, I might prefer the mouse and keyboard controls. This seems way more convenient to just pull these around. So, let's try that. So, I mean, I guess I just want to rotate, right? The question is, do we want to rotate to this side or this side? I think I can climb that, but I wouldn't be able to get up here, right? Can you climb too high? Let's find out. And you can't, like, click and move, can you? Or drag? No. W, A, S, and D. Oh, you can go too high. Alright. So that's not too bad. So it might be a little little quiet. I don't know if I should like... Oh, hello? Increase the volume a bit. When the music was playing, it seemed fine, but now it's very, very quiet. Oh, and is this the last one? Is that my boy? So you can move towers now. That's good, right? Try to create paths that can help you. The towers marked with symbols are the ones that can be moved. I know! You're very slow, tutorial blip thing. Like, it's explaining stuff after you've already figured them out, which is a little weird. You can move by clicking on the big triangle. Oh yeah, right here probably- no? Yeah, I would have assumed that too. Like, you could move left and right, but nope, you can't. Only W, A's and D. This one goes all the way up here. I mean, we can, like... I wonder if that's a fall I can... I can handle. Let's find out. Nope, it is not. But I can do this. And then we can, like... Can I pull this one when I'm standing on it? Yeah, I can. So that should be fine. Hey, boy. Bye, boy. What are you looking for? Your mind seems to be confused. Continue through the portal. Don't waste your time with distractions. Yeah, who cares about kids anyway? Live for the cool lamp instead. So now we can't rotate here anymore. And I can't get up this way. But we can... Okay, so how high can I climb? Three? No. And you can't go for, like, two and a half on this one. This is just specific ones that are, like, offset by half a step. But I can just climb up by, like, raising this by two blocks again and doing that over again. Oh, no! <laughs> Whoops. Praise the lamp, yeah. Okay, that, that's also a little bit annoying, that like, if you die, you have to re-listen to all the story that you've already gone through. But this seems optional, like, I wouldn't need to check this out, because that's not part of the goal. So I wonder if it does anything in the end. I guess the light went on here, and it wasn't before. So that's as far as that can go up. Can I climb in? Like, 
No. Okay, you need two two tiles of like headspace to get up. But can I? Does that mean I can climb up here? No. But now I can't climb up again. Okay. I mean, I guess we can rotate. Yeah, I can't go more to the right here. This is one of those that's like on the half step. Yeah, I guess we just rotate. But then, which way do we rotate? Probably just this way. Oh, you, you only have one choice? Yeah, I see. Okay, you only have one choice for rotation. Yeah, so now we can just make a staircase here. I assume this will work, right? Yeah, there we go. Story may be part of the level. If you come back later to play, you may have to redo all this too. Yeah, it seems like it. Like, these are just in the levels, not really like a, a you know, save file progression thing. And we can just go here, it looks like, but... Oh, I see! This is like uh, in Ori. Ori and the, the Blind Forest. The uh, Ginso tree. And then we have to get up here somehow. After rotating, I assume. Yeah, so let's just check out this ghost. Stop looking for ghosts! No! Let's check out the ghosts! You should not have found this place. I like ghosts. And lamps. So then, how are we gonna get down here? I guess you're gonna, like... Just make a path like this? And just, like, drop down one after the other. But then, how do we get out again at that point? Yeah, we'll see. So I go down here... This one rotates that way, yeah. But will I die when I do that? Can't pull that one all the way. I might die here. I'm dead, okay. This is just Ori and Manifold Garden. It does remind me of some game. I can't remember which one. I've definitely played a game with similar mechanics to this, like a 2D puzzle game where you could rotate the screen and then like gravity would make boxes fall down and stuff in the new direction of down and whatever. It might have been like a flash game or something. But yeah, it's so far doing it well, at least. Like, implementing the mechanics well. I do like the click and drag. And I guess that's that's the whole point. Like, if it was mobile, you could probably just swipe up and down the, uh, the pillars and stuff. So yeah, how do we survive dropping down here? Oh, I see. Ah, interesting. So, to begin with, let's just extend all these again. And then we just... Oh, we can't do that, but we can extend up here. And then this should be fine, right? Surely I'll I'll be okay falling down this, this tiny amount, yeah? And then this one can't go down more, so now we have to be able to survive here, I hope. It would be nice if it showed that, like... Ah, it was red there. Yeah, it should have shown, like, over on on the corner, in the corner here. Like, oh, you'll show up here, but you'll be dead. So then, how do we get this one? I guess I have to rotate again and get in... Yeah, I see. Get in upside down instead. Okay. You also felt that? You just can't remember what what game it is? Yeah, I can't remember either. You only know about Run in that sense? Yeah, Run doesn't sound familiar to me. Monument Valley? That's a gravity mechanic, but not like this. I've heard of Monument Valley, but I don't think I've played it. So yeah, okay, let's just see what happens then if we get to the second rotational thing. You can can climb up there. Monument Valley is a, a mobile game, so stream would be finicky, yeah. 
I mean, I guess there are emulators for stuff like that, but I'm not really looking to uh, stream mobile games. I have a lot of stuff to stream regardless. And here we are streaming a mobile game, I guess. <laughs> oh, that was just the end. Oh, shit. Wait. Uh, can you, like, go back? I guess I just go back to menu? I, just, I wasn't thinking. So instead of 9, we go to 8. Secret path. Yeah, I'm just gonna increase the volume. Let me know if it gets too loud, because the music was, like, decently... at a decent volume, but now it's just been super quiet. I guess we'll go get the ghost again. You're getting deaf? Like, for real you're getting deaf? It's loud enough? Yeah, just tell me if I should lower it or something. Alright, so can we climb up here? Not really. Oh, wait, I see. No? Yeah, that's the max. Yeah, how would we get down here? I don't see how that's possible. Hmm. I wonder if it's something weird where, like, you have to come back and get secrets later on because you won't be able to do them now. Because, again, we couldn't drop down from here into there. That's too far. You blast stuff on lo loud volume. Oh boy, yeah, that doesn't sound good. I might have to just leave this one for now. I assume it'll show... Did it show? Hold on, if we go back. Does it show in any way that, like, I still have stuff to do in this level? Locked. What do you mean? Wait, what? Why is 7 locked? We're, like, skipping levels? So if we go to 6, can I go somewhere else then? Was that the thing with the house? Yeah. Can we, like, go into the house instead? Is that a, a second... second exit? And the house lit up when I talked to the boy. So there, and then... Then we want to get onto this side. Yeah? And then can I just get up here at this point? Ah, we can! Interesting. We got some branching paths. Yes? Okay, there we go. Achievements! The Witch's House? Find the secret level of Fruitful Forest. Well, it wasn't so secret. It was just in the level select. Here is a level for you to find. And there's just one of these secret things here, but I can't get to it unless I can, like, jump this high. He's looking. 
He's contemplating it. Do you have the big hops? Does not look like he does. Can I do something like down here, maybe? No? Oh! Oh, that's just... That was the exit. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like maybe maybe it's something where you have to get back here later on once we get another ability of some kind. I can't go back in. Yeah, I guess we're stuck there. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to assume it's something later on. So let's move on. Probably the same one with a secret path. I guess I'm just gonna assume that it's for later, hopefully. But it would be nice if it showed in some way that you had an uncollected secret thing. Like down here, maybe if this was still hollow or something. Yeah, twisted tree. That's a lot of spinning things. So we can get up here to this one. Oh, this one is interesting. I guess this one will allow me to rotate in both directions or something. Whereas these ones only allow you to rotate in one direction. So yeah, this is kind of the only thing we can do right now. And then now we could rotate here. But that wouldn't really do anything for me, so I guess we're going onward here. Yep, this one is in the middle and we can rotate to either side. I mean, I, I don't see why we would rotate any other way than this. Can I just... can I survive this? That doesn't look like a big fall. Nope, apparently not. I guess three blocks is the maximum he can handle. Yeah. And then what does this do? Ah, I see. Yeah, three blocks and then three blocks. All right. Yeah, it's kind of a nice level. It like teaches you more about the limitations and like what you can and can't drop down and stuff. Oh, we got a village and a boy again. Daddy, where have you been? I've been waiting for you so, so long, for so long. Have you abandoned me? Yep. I'm beyond the castle, in the deepest part of this world. How are you ghost-powering stuff? Yeah, there might be more secret levels. Oh, if we can, like, open the door or something. The castle seems to be closed now. That huge symbol on the horizon is the entrance gate. Which one? This one? It has been shut tight for a long time. I thought you didn't want me to do what the little boy wanted. But yeah, when I talked to the ghost, I didn't see anything, like, happen. No door opened or anything, but... We can't pull this thing. It looks like you should be able to enter the door, but... We can't right now. That goes all the way up there. I see. So this one rotates that way, yeah, so we'll want to make sure we can drop down onto here. Will I survive that? Would be nice to have a marker for this one as well. Like, before you let go here, it should show, oh, green marker here, you'll be fine dropping down. Oh, ah, I see. So these ones you can't pull or push, but they uh, obey gravity. So if we rotate... Now, it'll be fine, but if we had rotated twice, then it would drop down again, I assume. And then we just, like, stair-step it down a little bit. But then, 
this is pointless, right? Yeah, like that'll that'll just kill me. That's kind of weird. And this didn't open. This didn't open. I guess we're just done here. The towers are different here. They have a distinct kind of magic. Solve this en enigma, Lucio's, and the gate shall open. Okay, well, we have another ghost boy. Oh! I see. So each symbol needs to, like, be in the correct spot. But how do we do that? How do we, like, switch over the symbols? Huh. I guess the wall doesn't rotate. When we rotate, the uh, the foreground will rotate, but the background doesn't. So in the end, this needs to be down here. So we either need to have it... Yeah, we need to rotate 180 degrees, basically. Okay. And then we want to go... This way, I assume. At the stone castle, the world won't turn. Take care, daddy. Everyone who entered the castle has turned into stone. Except you, you're a ghost. You just open it for me? No? I guess he just showed, like, this is what you're trying to do. Yeah, so... I guess we just do this? there. But then I have to get up here as well. I assume I can raise these. Oh. Or we're just done. Okay, you, you didn't have to actually like get to the center. Fruitful forest. So that's world one complete. Nick castle? Gnick? I don't even know. Neek? Oh, I see. Timed things. Oh, I see, but you can, like, pull them up. So what happens then if it goes all the way down? Oh, it solidifies, and that's... that's bad. Good job, Lucio's. We're, we are inside. The secret garden should be here somewhere. Be careful with the steam towers. They can burn you. So... Until they've... what the hell was that? Until they've, like, solidified? You can't touch them, so if, if this was like this and we rotated, I couldn't walk on it because it would be too hot. But once we're here, now I can touch it. Dead. <laughs> and we can just like rush up. Oh, we could have rushed under it if I didn't get interrupted. Yeah, what is that guy? Some kind of shopkeeper? Oh shit, should I have clicked earlier? Crap, hold on. Retry. So you have to be quick on those. Click now. Click. No? I guess that's just a, like an emoticon thing, just... Question mark. It doesn't actually mean anything. So this needs to open somehow. And going here... Takes us down there. Ah, I see. So doesn't that mean I can just get it? Ah, oh, not quite. But like this I can? Yeah, that one was a lot. It's weird that you don't collect stuff or go into the exits unless you stop right on them. Like, why, why they wouldn't just automatically 
stomp you onto them. Yeah, this one was a lot easier than the previous one. So yeah, I guess we just line this up at this point. So couldn't we just like stair step up instead if I wanted to? I think I could just get up here by stair stepping. But yeah, this just takes me over here. Makes sense. Too far. That's fine. All right, well, we can only rotate one way. Cause the other one would just kill me. That that kills me too, really. Okay. Guess we can't rotate at all. Oh, I see. I missed these. So in that case, we can rotate both ways, but there's like a treasure chest here? Let's see what that's about. Ah. It opens when you're on the right orientation. New power? Pendant gives you power to climb up three blocks. Ah. I wonder if it also increases the uh, fall distance. Okay, so there's some, like, progressive power-ups that'll probably allow you to do stuff in previous levels as well. So now I... Now he was looking up before in the, uh, the Witch Tower. He's looking up, so I can actually climb up now because I have the pendant. Interesting. You got a little boy -oing effect with your hops yeah and then we go this other way I guess hold on let me just check again hello I'm up turn around it's a little floaty like you have to hold in the controls for not too long because if it's too long, then you go down, you jump off. But if it's not long enough, then he doesn't react. But yeah, now, this is too far. But three blocks is fine. So that hasn't changed. But maybe it will, at some point. And then, I guess we go here? What is this gonna do, exactly? Oh, I can just jump up, right. That's just for getting back, I guess, if I didn't get the treasure chest before. Oh. Some art. Can't pull it down, but we can go all the way across, I see. Oh, hello. What's up? Okay. Oh, what just happened? Oh, I see. That's just the animation of me uh, turning. And then this teleports me down there, but that doesn't help right now. We would need to be on a different rotation. Yeah. We can go all the way here. Does that mean I can... No? Okay. We can't survive this. This isn't, like, walkable. Hmm. Yeah, how are we gonna get up here? Guess I have to set this up so I don't die. Can't pull that down, and yeah, it just shows death. I think that's, like, regardless of, even if there was land right here, I think you just die by falling into a, a portal. Oh, I see. Wait, hold on. We can just do this now. 
There we go. Nope, stop. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little wonky to control. A bit too floaty, I would say. And then, now we're just done. We just walk across. No more paintings to look at, though. What is that about? Why does it look so insane? And then here we just have to rotate this way. I guess we just pull this out? No, we can't. Hmm. I guess I go up again? Then how do we go down? Ah, here we go. Sometimes it doesn't show the like, you will land here and you'll be fine. Prompt. And then, can we just climb up here? Maybe. I can climb three blocks at a time. Yeah. No problems. And these are the, like, magma ones? Yeah. Yeah, so if you touch them when they're moving at all, it's not good. Uh, okay, I think that's also a bug because I died like twice in a row or something. Uh-oh. Oh no. I mean, it is newly released. I guess there will be bugs. Ambush? Was that where we were? Yeah, I think it was because, like, I died twice, so it hadn't faded in from the fade out or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, there we go. We're fine. So I can, like, lock this in place then? If I pull this out here, then it solidifies. Yeah. But I don't think I want to do that right now. I want to do it, like, here? Yeah, just, just right here. Like so? And then we can't get up here. Oh, we can get up here. Oh, hello. What is that, a thief? Oh no, my lamp! Okay, can't click that. That's a little mischievous spirit thing. Oh, didn't even realize I could drop down there. Well, I guess that's that. No other secrets here, unless you can do something at the fireplace, but that's where we started, so I guess that's everything. Right. So these ones do not fall, so we can just set these up however we want. Anything special with this painting here? No? Hmm.
Oh, no! God damn it. Yeah. There we go. And then... We can't pull these out, so we can't rotate the other way. We have to rotate this way. And then I guess that's just it. Now we just go up to the end. Or maybe we don't. This one can't extend that far. Yeah, okay. So now we have to make our way all the way over here instead. Yeah, some of these effects are a little weird. Like, they're a bit overwhelming. And then here we need to... pull these out so I don't die. And then just do that over and over. Yeah, nice. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Ruining my plans like this? I shouldn't have trusted you to do this job. Stop stealing before he notices. Uh-oh. I think that flying thing might be bad. Maybe. Yeah, so we need to, like, create a, uh, a floor to walk across here. And to do that, we have to pull these up. Makes sense. I guess we just go through here. So what are we doing here? How do we get to this one? We have to lock this in place somehow. Right here, I see. And that's as far as that can go. But then... Yeah, then that should be fine. We should be able to, uh... Well, let's make sure I survive this fall first. But then this should be fine. Ah. I guess I can just walk over here. And then pull it. Yeah, so far some pretty clever puzzles. I like them. Nothing too, too hard, but... I guess we're in, uh, just the beginning of the game so far. Oh. It's a little prankster. And he's gone. Hmm. I guess we just climb up again. Yeah, it's also a little weird, like when I'm standing here, I have to press left instead of up, even though it should, like, accept both. Inputs really, since either going left or up should be the same. Like, you can't go left, you can't, you can only climb up. So, yeah. Control, controls are like the one thing I think could maybe do with a little bit of polish so far.
I guess we go over this way. So I guess I can't survive dropping down here. So we have to go through this way. How far do down does it go? What, what do you mean? I wasn't even close. God damn it. I just turned away from it. Let's just climb back up just in case, like, taunting this guy does anything. Naughty guy appearing behind you? Did he, like, before I died? Uh, okay, that's also a bit of a bug, I think. I guess I could go over here, but that wouldn't really do anything. So was he... Ah, I see, yeah, he was right here. I missed him. But yeah, so then, what do we do here? That just solidifies here, alright. So, I mean, we can't just go through. I guess I can lock it in here? There we go. Oh, and then the painting again. Yeah, he's just there to taunt me. Here we go. Oh. Oh no, you're here to destroy it, aren't you? The will of Tetragon has not always been so mean. Everything changed from the moment the jewel was destroyed. It went crazy. It turned all my friends into stone. I should stop talking. It could be hearing us. So this guy is actually the good guy? The Tetragon is the bad guy? Something like that? Boss fight. Oh, I see. Tetragon is definitely the bad guy. The problem was solved. It won't bother you anymore. Thanks. You're not angry with me, are you? That creature was on our way, Lucio's. You mean in our way? I've just eliminated this nuisance. Yeah, I think that was a small grammatical error. Well, rip. Mischievous dude. I'll take your little shard thing. We can't look at him anymore. Yeah, so this was more of a story level. Even the king is frozen to stone, or turned to stone. Yeah, we can get up here. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to get to this one, I guess, right away. Oh, and I guess you can, like, turn... You can use another one to freeze this one, but then you have to use another one for that. So in the end, at the end of a chain, you have to be using something that's solid. Yeah, this like... Oh god. This is solid now, but it'll stop being solid when this starts being hot again, yeah. Okay. That's all we can do with those. We can't pull this one far enough. Hmm. I 
You know, this one won't really help. Nor will this one. Um. This is because I said the puzzles weren't too hard, right? What else can we do at this point? So yeah, this one won't do anything. Wait, can I like hold this in place? Hold on. If I just hold this in place, I guess we get a timer here. Yeah, I see. But if I do hold it in place, can I walk? No. But now I can let go and this will be fine. But this one is not fine. So I just have like a time, a time limit. All right. Yeah, that's adding some complexity here. And then I guess we go this way. Ah, okay. I made it a little slanted. Oh, that has to go that way. That's not what I wanted. So maybe I have to redo this one. Hmm. This isn't really going to work. If I pull this, I'm dead. And none of these can help me right now. Oh, wait. Drop down through. Okay, I mean, maybe? Was that what you were supposed to do? I have no idea. And then how do we get up here? Ah, this one. But how? With this right here, I see. So if we get over here, that'll be fine. Hello? I'm, I'm holding right. Why can't I walk? There we go. Yeah. Certain control bugs as well, it seems. Oh? Guess that's the world complete? Or not yet. Oh, we're praising Cthulhu. Great. Hello. Are you still upset with me? You humans are so weak. Don't be blind, Lucius. We've arrived. This is the secret garden. We'll finally put an end to your journey. It's only just begun, though. And this is like the big, biggest gravitational stone. Oh, that only it rotates that way. And we can go all the way across here, I see. And then I suppose we go this way. Some regular game launch bugs to make people happy, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not easy to have a bug-free game. And especially if you're, like, porting something, if this was a port from mobile to PC, I can imagine it's easy to miss a lot of minor stuff, especially with the controls and stuff. Going for a dip. So then this one is, like, I can rotate in whichever way I want, or...? Oh, I see. And then we're just falling down because that totally is safer than just landing on on the solid rock. There's no way out of this dungeon. I guess if it's not too high, that's fine. I've made the path that brought you here. Now you must go. Enter through that portal and get away from here forever. If you stay, you'll be confined here for all eternity. Okay. 
So we have a choice? Or no? Oh, we do have a choice. So I could go here. I mean, I, I guess I kind of want to do what he says to begin with. Just like, okay, game over. Get one ending. But then obviously there's more here. Yep. Giving up. Game over. It's not even like, okay, you, you finished the game. This is just like, game over, you fucked up, you died. Try again. Play better. Choices. Well, it's not much of a choice. So then we can tell which ones are connected? No, not really. I guess just this is the one that's connected to something else. Could at least fake end level, yeah, something like that. Guess that's fine. You'll regret this. Well, I mean, I can't play the game otherwise, so again, not much of a choice. Oh. I see. Oh, what just. Huh? Wait, what? How do these work? It's kind of weird. Well, I suppose that's fine. Release the prisoner. Okay, bye. You damned human! Have you followed that creature's orders? It will destroy your son just as it did in the past, with a tetragon jewel. You brought death into this world once again. Yeah, maybe... Maybe they should have fleshed out the choice a little more, because again, like... Oh, you fool, you've you've done the bad thing, but like there was no other choice for the player, really. The ancient gate must be closed. The child must be protected for the order for for the order balance of this world. In order for the balance of this world or for the balance of this this world or for the order, I don't know. Your love for your son will be the worst thing that ever happened to Tetragon. Okay. Aren't you expecting a little much? From, like, a parent. It's like, why can't you just give up on your child, you dumbass? Forget that child, Lucius. He is not at your reach. You've caused enough trouble around here. Go away. You know, this guy doesn't really know humans very well. He's just fuming. He's so mad he's shaking. And then we're going this way. He's not gonna let me, I see, so I have to go this way instead. To fake him out. Take that. Neek Castle, or however you pronounce that. Deep Woods. And now we have spikes. Of course we have spikes. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of Escape Goat a little bit. Just like the style. Now with the spikes. So. Yep. <laughs> Had to try. Oh, whoops. Didn't see that. No, yeah, I let go of the button when I was, like, here, and it just ran all the way off. Like I've said, that definitely is, like, the weirdest part about the game so far. 
So where are we trying to get to? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Fink or Ernog as well, a little bit, this color palette. Hmm. We can't drop down here. Oh, I see. We just get up here and pull it slightly farther. There we go. And then, yeah, I assume we can only rotate this way. Alright. Hello, little ghost boy. What's up? You angered it. It wants you dead now. Everyone that enters these woods is lost forever. If it wanted me dead, why didn't it just, like, petrify be me? The shadows can eat you, Dad. I'll be waiting for you. Sure, creepy ghost boy. And then we just go back, I imagine. So how do we get up here? Or we just drop down this way? Hmm. Ah, I see. Oh, so this is fine when this is like being blocked? Or is this gonna kill me? That, okay, that may be... Either that's a visual bug or that's not very clear. But oh well. Alright, time for ghost talk again. So far the music hasn't been like anything super spectacular, but it's pretty nice. Just like relaxing background music, kind of ominous, eerie feeling to it. I like the atmosphere. So we want to just drop down here instead. There we go. So what do we do now? I think the music took offense that I said it wasn't, like, the best thing ever. Yeah, what can we do at this point? If I rotate this, I'll just die. So we have to rotate this way, but then we're just back where I started. So that doesn't seem like there's any point. Hmm. Oh, I can climb up, I guess? But does that help? Not really. And I assume I can't drop off here. I would just die if I tried. Yeah, what are we supposed to do here? Oh, I didn't even notice you could pull these. All right. Yeah, it can be a little hard to see. So yeah, just something like that. Mm. 
I guess that's what the, uh... Like, there's no control for that for mouse and keyboard, where you can, like, press a left bumper and right bumper to see each individual thing. That would be kind of nice to have, like, on the scroll wheel or something for the mouse, so you could just, like, see what you can interact with without having to mouse over it and click it, because sometimes it can be kind of hard to tell, like, right here. Oh, you, I can pull this. I mean, it's not impossible to see, but it can be easy to overlook. That would be kind of a nice feature. Hmm. Oh, I see. So these you can't stand on, but I would be able to... Oh wait, what happens now? Do I just die? Yep. <laughs> Bonked on the head, dead before I even hit the ground. Oh yeah, so these you can pull up, and probably if I rotate, I can probably land on it just fine, but you can't stand directly on top of it. So we're just pulling this all the way here instead. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that takes me that way, but then how do I... I see. Drop down. Do I even want this here? I guess so? And then... I assume we rotate this way. So then, what are we trying to do? How do we stand there? I can't pull this up anymore. Oh, this one? No, that doesn't go far enough either. So nothing here seems to go in range of the exit. Hmm. I'm not sure how we exit the level. And if I do this and turn around, this will just say bad? Yeah. I mean, I guess it would be bad here anyway. We need to find one where it, like, it should, in theory, work to drop down, but I imagine it just doesn't work at all. Yeah, so what do we do here? This isn't enough. Th that is enough! Okay, well, that was a little unclear, I guess. Never mind. I didn't think that was... I thought that was one block too, uh, too far up. Whoa. What the hell? Is this a lock or something? Oh, hi, boy. Oh. Interesting. Wait, what? Okay. So we can do that, I guess? I don't know if that's what you're meant to do? Hello. I've been lost in these woods, too. There's a warrior that guards this place. She can help you find the way. Okay. So then, how do we exit this level? Just right here? I guess that would be enough, then? Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, what do we do now? Oh, these ones. Yeah, didn't see those. Yeah, can't I just do that then? Like, I feel like you're supposed to rotate around and stuff, but I, I think this will just work, right? I just climb up here. We pull this one out once. And then we can just pull this across, make a tunnel, and then I'm just at the end. No, I'm not. This time it's, it's too high. Damn it. So I guess I have to, like, do this? And then rotate? Oh no! What? God damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, and then having to redo everything, including the story stuff, it's a bit much. I wish these were just, like, done with the first time. Yeah, I guess this makes sense that you do it this way. Right, so we want to be one step down here. And then let's try this again. So we do that, pull this back, pull this up only to here. And that's the wrong direction, all right. So never mind that. Yeah, so I guess we have to do this then. Alright, so you can't just, like, instant cheese this level. And then here I assume we want to rotate this way, but how do I survive that? We haven't used this one either, I think. Well, I can climb up here, I guess. Maybe this is it. Just that, and then we make the, uh, the path here. Uh... Hmm. I mean, I, I can just walk through here. This will work. I'm not sure this is what... what you're intended to do. I feel like you were supposed to somehow lock this in place using one of these to, like, create a tunnel to the, end, uh, the uh, exit. But I guess that works. Now what? I guess we have to stand on this one at the end. Yeah, this is going to be where you end it, I imagine. And we can rotate either way. There's a secret shard here. I think I can get that. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> At least you don't die from having your skull embedded in rock.
Might have been an alternate option on the last step before the door. Maybe? Yeah, I guess maybe they designed many different possible solutions, not just one. Alright, so how do we get here at the end? Oh, well, I just, yeah, that's it. We're done, right? Ah, yeah, it's kind of hard to go just one tile. Yeah, this seems weird. This seems like a much too simple solution, right? There we go. Didn't have to use any of this. But maybe some of it is supposed to be like red herrings and stuff. I don't know. Oh! Oh, interesting. You can do that in time. I assume, I assume that's like what they're trying to teach you here. Or it could be related to secrets, maybe, yeah? Oh, you mean in that sense, like, there was an alternate path to go. On that last step before the door, I guess let's just check that quick. So you mean in... You mean hidden village or shadows? Like you mean something over here or something? Where if I get on this side, something might happen or? I'm not sure what else would be a thing. Or did you mean the previous level before this one? It does say hidden village. Oh, yeah, right here. Maybe. Hmm. And you have to talk to this guy so he can unlock these locks, which is a little weird. I'm not sure. God damn it. Okay, never mind. I'm not sure this is worth it. I was just gonna say. Oh, whoops. Oh, I think we're soft locked. Okay, there we go. I could press space. I think because I, because I died, and hit escape at the same time, it like broke the mouse and escape button. I couldn't press them again. So I assume I just die if I'm on here? Yeah, it just pulls out too fast. It's not like you can ride down. But then we could lock it here, which maybe is what you're meant to do. Yeah, I guess maybe that's what you're supposed to do. So maybe climbing up here is cheese. I don't mind some cheese though. Yeah, and you can, like, quickly run across them. And yeah, you can stand on the perpendicular as well. I'm not sure that was how you were supposed to get this thing, because then what's this, uh, this portal for? I feel like you were supposed to be on this side and, like, climb up through the portal and then drop down to get it or something? Maybe not. Alright, well, now though, what do we do? I guess we just go this way?
Yeah, this is the one really weird part about climbing. Like, from here, you have to tap up. But from here, because it's like, it's the same jump, but you still, you have to press right instead of up. I feel like either should work. And is this dead? Death? Is this death? Am I dead? I am not dead. Okay, so in the end, we want to be here, which means we want to, like, go through here. No? How do we get onto here? Hmm. I don't really see how we can be on the uh, underside here. And if we're not, then how can we drop down here safely? Because this fall would kill me. Hmm. Oh, there's these ones as well. I missed them. And they go all the way up. Can't pull this all the way. Only to there. So that still doesn't really help me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I can't just fall into the exit, can I? And that's death. Yeah, I think here I should be able to survive this, but you can't. You just die instantly when you touch a teleport or portal, yeah. See, I think... I don't think I can survive here. No? We can't lower this. Oh, I could... Hold on. I can if I can rotate this to this direction. Yeah, there we go. Now we can climb up. I see. I assume this doesn't kill me. Oh, just barely. Yeah, that was a bit more complicated. All right. Not going to the suspicious cave-like thing? I don't think I saw that. Whoops. Wait, no. Oh, this one. Yeah, I didn't even register that as, like, something you could go into. Yeah, I guess it's one of those secret levels, like the, uh... The witch, which is hot. At least with this trick, it's quick to get to. The secret cave. 
find the secret level of Deep Woods. I'm assuming there was a secret level in Nick Castle as well that I missed, probably. What the hell are you? Shh, he's here. I'm afraid, Dad. I feel like he wants to destroy me. Master, that's how they call him around here. Okay. So, I mean, I want this, I guess, but do we not want to go there when he's there? Is he bad? And yeah, you can just see on the level select if you're missing something. Well, this is a weird one. We can't move this at all. It's like locked. So why even give me the option to show that I can move it? Hmm. Uh-oh. What the hell happened there? Well, I don't think that's right. And yeah, again, really wish it would save these. The fact that you've talked to them. So I guess we can go... Oh. Oh, so that's just gone now. Well, okay, that was a one-way path. Noted. Oh, got it. Nope, I'm, I'm dead now. Or am I? No, that's fine. Yeah, I wonder why... I guess this becomes a pitfall, but this does not. And you can't pull them out. Yeah, maybe something will, like, unlock these or something? Because otherwise, why can you even interact? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ! So that's what they do. And I see. We can unlock this, it's just we have to step on this. Okay, so that's like actually what we're trying to do. Oh no. I'm trying to move. Hello? Okay, yeah. I think it's because I'm holding A, like during the cutscene. It then doesn't register again until you push another key or something like that. Even though I let go and press it again. Okay, so what do I do here then? I do just rotate here and then sit still? Or am I gonna die now? Yeah, I just die instantly. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I was kind of thinking that, like, if we're getting to these kinds of levels where you just die a lot... It's kind of frustrating when the entire level resets every time and you have to like re-talk to all the NPCs and stuff. That's maybe a little little tedious. Most of the levels you kind of only need to do once or twice anyway. But when it gets to like the ones that can easily kill you, it might become a problem. So I guess I rotate from here instead. And then I can like step on it and run off. And this is basically just a, uh, what are they called again? Steam? Steamy tower? Something like that. And now I can pull it. Hmm. So that's at the end now, but we can use it. Like here or something, I don't know. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't really see what to do at this point. I guess I have to do this and then lock it in. Wait, hold on. Like that? But then that doesn't really help me either. I guess we step on here and then climb up again? Like really fast? Yeah, because I can't survive dropping down here, and I think we do want this to fall down to, like, unlock this. Or, this does go pretty far down, so we can, like, do this kind of thing, then pull it all the way over here, and then pull this out of... out of the way? Maybe? So now that's free. And this is free. And this is free. Now all of them are kind of unlocked. And now we just need to rotate. Hmm. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, how do I get down here safely? With this thing, maybe? If we can lock it somehow? Doesn't seem like we can lock this one at any point. That would have been with a thing that fell away, and I, I hope it's not like... If you step on one of these when you weren't supposed to, it's locked forever and you have to reset. But maybe that's a thing? Otherwise, we just have to get over to this side again. And now we can step on this one, I suppose. Hmm. But how do I not die here? I guess the secret levels are a lot more difficult, though the witch's hut was just like, you just have to have the pendant and then come back. I don't really see what I can do here. I can like, oh no, I can lock this in place here, but then this doesn't get locked into place in any way. So once again, it could get locked for like a split second or just a certain time. I don't know if I'm just soft locked here. If I just did something wrong and I can't progress anymore. Oh, well, I forgot this was a thing. Never mind. I guess he unlocks this now. Looking for stealing... What? Looking for stealing the sacred jewel. Master drifted to the heart of Tetragon. Looking to steal, I assume. To prevent it from falling into the wrong hands, Tetragon shattered the jewel. The explosion spread several fragments throughout the whole world. I am a replacement daddy. <laughs> a replacement daddy! 
I now occupy the place of the jewel. I see. So to save my boy, we have to collect all the fragments to replace the thing. And if I just beat the game without them, then I guess my boy would just be in that place forever. So I guess we want to kind of do that first, just to see what happens. But okay, here we go. So then we step onto here. Now that goes down only to there. But now what then? It's kind of hard to get to like the center of a block sometimes. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. So we somehow need to get down here safely. How do I do that? Yeah, now this is just blocked off completely. I guess I can... Oh yeah, wait, hold on. I can just drop down like this. Uh, hold on. Like that. And then I can walk across here, right? Yeah. Okay, that's some progress. Now, though... So... I hope I don't just, like, die when I touch this guy. If you die here because he's here protecting it, this is a shit level. Okay, good. It's not a shit level. Oh, it's you. Thanks for releasing me from my prison. How beautiful it will be to see Tetragon collapsing again. And I didn't even ha- I didn't even had to do anything this time. Yeah. Definitely uh, needs maybe a little polish on the uh, English translation. Go after your child, Lucius or Lucius. Uh, take him away from here. Your love will be the worst thing that ever happened to Tetragon. Everyone says that. Also happened, misspelled. Oh well. And then we just leave. But yeah, that was that was a tricky one. And at least it wasn't like. Too tedious, too many deaths, and nothing that was irreparably, like, uh, a mistake or anything. So that's good. Uh, was this the one I was on? No, this is the cave one, so we can just quit from here. Wait, well, yeah, I mean, maybe I should just leave it there for tonight. That's kind of a good place to end it for this game. So we're lost in the woods. Uh, hold on, before we do that, let's just go back and do... Uh, this one witchcraft just to get that actually maybe i shouldn't maybe this should be the one i just leave because this is such an easy shard to get now that we have the triple jump so i can easily get this and i don't know maybe there's gonna be like some talk with the witch or something but maybe i should leave this so that i have one that i can just get at the end just to see the uh bad end or normal ending and then the good ending so yeah i think i'll just leave this here yeah, so far, I'm really liking this. Couple of issues, like minor things, just control issues and like uh, bugs and translation issues. But overall, the game is solid. I love the art style. I like the music and atmosphere. And I mean, I'm interested to see, interested to see where it goes and all that. But yeah, solid puzzles overall. 
I'll definitely continue this at some point, but for now, I'm gonna take a quick break, a couple minutes, and then we're gonna switch over to Guacamelee, the old edition. The first time I've ever played that. I've had it recommended to me by a lot of people, so let's see what that game is all about. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.